What's going on, everybody? We are back here live here in the OT Radio Show. And we got a good show for y'all today. Today, man, oh, man, it's about to be some epic, y'all. Now, my man right here, he don't know we got a lot of things in common. But, hey, we got him on. MC Nice. Yes, my man, MC Nice. He's multi-platinum recording artist, writer, producer, and guess what? Ha, Stella Award winner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, he worked with such artists like Tupac, Nas, Aaron Hall, I'll be sure, and one of my favorite gospel artists, Craig Hammond, just to name a few. Not only that, he's actually starring right now in the jam as a novelist that you can find on Amazon, Roku, and Apple TV. But well, wait a minute, man. I ain't done yet, y'all. He got his own seasoning. He got his own seasoning, y'all. The man got his own seasoning. Hey, we got him here. Come, come join us here on the show. Woo, cannot wait. And we'll be back here live with MC Nice. He's going to be joining us, y'all. We'll be back. Let's go. Let's get this show started. Here on the OT radio show, and like I just got finished saying, the producer said, My man, MC Nice is here. He here. Let's go ahead and talk to him because I know he had a long weekend down there in LA, BT experience. But we got him here coming to join us for a couple of minutes to come holler at us. What's going on with you, man? How you feeling, man? Producer, oh, is he in? <laughs> yo, how you doing, man? What's up? Uh, yo, oh, man, yo, I'm good. You caught me leaving oh. the set right now. I just left the set filming my new TV show. So, you know, other than that, you know, I would be in a different location. But, you know, I had to come on. I was like, yo, got to get on the OT show. It's happening. <laughs> What's up with you, man? First of all, man, it's a pleasure and it's an honor to have you here join us here on the show, man. I know you got a lot of things that you got going on and stuff like that. But just to take a few minutes to holler at me, I appreciate it, bro, all the time. Hey, man, it's all good. You know, at the end of the day, I, I'm not above nobody, you know what I'm saying? And that, and the bottom line is everybody, somebody. So it doesn't matter who it is. I respect, you know, respect that. That's a fact. That's a fact. But yo, man, can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and the story behind MC Nice and how you discovered the love of hip hop? Not only that, yeah. you do Christian too. So let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I started out as a Christian hip hop artist. And um, when I started, the church wasn't really checking for Christian rap. So, you know, um, I ended up leaving the church and going into the secular part of music where I joined a group called Light and Shade of Brown. It was the first Latin rap group in the history of rap music to crack the Billboard charts. And uh, opened up, it opened up a lot of doors for Latin, you know, for Latin uh, music as well. So with me, though, you know, I, I didn't do it. So Light and Shade of Brown and then just because produced Tupac. Uh, there's a song out um, uh, called I mean, so those big iconic records from Pac that I had to have a part in. And then eight motion picture soundtracks. One won an Oscar, a movie called Crown. One of the ones that you can poo poo on because it was Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Brad Pitt. We had um, Haven uh, with Orlando Bloom and Zoe Saldana. Then it all, Jay Kenny. You saw in 2010 with Mark Cuban, and then uh, was on the Tribute to Prince album. It was a Prince uh, so song selected by Prince and Dr. Fink, so that was pretty mm -hmm. dope. And then I did a record with an actress called Stacy Dash that uh, took off. It was co-signed by Russell Simmons, and mm -hmm. uh, you know what happened there. And then you know from there I transitioned back into uh, Christian rap, where God was like, "Yo, I need." You I did that. Um, it was it was kind of weird though because I was like, "Yo, God, I'm close to the Maybach. You know, Russell just co-signed me. It's 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 going down. I'm it's about to be official." <laughs> and he was like, "Yo, you work for me. I'll really make you official." <clears throat> you know what I mean? And I was like, I was obedient, so I went in and uh, got five number one records on the Billboard charts, including the number one gospel album 
on the billboard. So, you know, God worked it out. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. I know we probably having a little bit of difficulties because I know you riding. So, you know what I mean? You keep going in and out far as the video or whatever, but we still going to make this work. We still going to make this work, bro. So one of the things that I do got to ask you, and congratulations on the Gospel uh, Hip Hop uh, Awards. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, uh, I was nominated six, so and I won three. So that's a that's a that's a beautiful thing. Uh, my radio show won. I got a show called God's Calamari with uh, MC Knight. Uh, it's on the uh, it's on uh, GA Street Radio, which is uh, powered by Dash Radio. Then uh, Best Latino collaboration with me and uh, uh, another artist called Brian Trejo, one of the, one of the biggest you know Christian rap artists that's Latin on the ground and then uh, yeah, won three awards, man. So I was excited about that. The Spin Awards came out. I got nominated for seven, uh, six of those, seven of those. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm out here putting in work, man, and just uh, pushing, pushing purpose and pushing the kingdom forward. Man, listen, bro, you are definitely, you definitely young, man. And most definitely big up because you're doing it for God. That's the most, that's the most high of high. You know what I mean? So that's a, that's an A1. That's an A1 in my book. That's an A1 in my book, bro. It's definitely on that one. So now since we talked about that a little bit, right, can you tell, like, our listeners and people that's going to be watching, you know, what is your philosophy about life, dude? Because it's like you got so much energy, and I love your energy, and your spirit is good. Like, give everybody a little bit of samples. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, this is what I always pride myself on, you know. But any someone has to be the first to do it, so why not you? So I wake up every morning with the purposes of uh, of, of, of of one pushing the kingdom, and at the same time, you know, trying to make you know great achievements. Someone got to be the first to do it. Someone got to lay the path, just like when Dr. King and and uh, uh, my man walked over the, the Selma Bridge. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They started by themselves. You know what I mean? Or a few. They started with a few, but by the time they got to the end of that walk, they had hundreds thousands with them. Yeah. You know what yeah. And so, you know, but it, all it takes is for one to crack open the door. So I wake up every morning striving to be the best that I can be, you know, push purpose. And I always say that uh, if I strive for perfection, I limit my mistakes. You know, you, nobody's a perfect person, you know, but if you're striving for perfection, the mistakes you make, you won't make it again because you try, you're trying to be the best that you can be. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, not to take you back, but I am going to take you back. Looking back at day one, can you tell our listeners and followers, you know what I mean, how did you grow creativity in this space and prepare, you know what I mean, to like perform and everything else? Because you grew a lot from day one to now. There's a lot of growth. Yeah, um, the thing about the thing about growing is that you got to be willing to learn. You know, a lot of a lot of cats come into the uh, come into the game and they're not really willing to learn. So for me, it was like, who's the best DJ? Who's the best, you know, performer? Who's the best rapper? Who's the who's got who's the second best? Who's the third best? Like I learned from everybody. You know what I mean? Because in order to be great, you got to study the greats. You know, you can see it even if I if I use a basketball analogy. Look at Kobe and, and how he studied Jordan and went and trained with Hakeem. And, you know, he studied the greats. <clears throat> so at the end of the day, that's what I did. Who are the greatest performers? I didn't care if it was male or female. Right. Who was the greatest lyrics? I didn't care if it was male or female. At the end of the day, they on top of the game and they on top of the game for a reason. What's the formula? You know what I mean? So if you don't, if you don't understand the formula, you ain't going to stick around. I've been in this game 25 plus years and I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still thriving, and it ain't because you know uh, I got the best of the best of this and the best of that. It's that I stayed focused, paid attention, and kept to what I do. That's a fact. That is a fact, bro. Because you know what, you never stare differently. Like I've been following you a lot because there's a lot of things that you don't know that I know. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know we're gonna get on that later, but uh. I got to ask this question, man, because you have worked with so many different artists, so many different producers, and it's like, 
what would be one of the one main artists that you would love to work with? Past or present that you would uh, love to work with, man, or had that chance to work with? It's, well, it's, it depends on the genre, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, like, in rap, my, I always wanted to do a record with both KRS and Rakim. Who? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. They're giants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. not only giants with the rap, but they giants with the bars, too. So, you know, it's uh -huh. like, you know what I mean? Like, real rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lyrically, lyrically, yeah. boy, them yeah. boys come with it. Yeah, but if you go R and B, then it's like either Michael Jackson or Sade. Ooh. Mm. You know, on you know, that vibe, you know what I mean? Right. That, that's, you know what I mean? So, or if it's rock, then it's Fishbone. Okay. You know okay. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. So that's. I mean, and 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 if it's funk, then you know, it's no other than. Then Bootsy Collins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bootsy, you know, or, or you know, or, uh, um, man, I can't think of the name. Atomic Dog. Uh, uh, oh man, this is any other time I would know the name, but right. uh, wow. uh, but yeah, if it's funk, it's in that, it's in that space. So it depends on the genre. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what it really depends on. Well, listen now, I man. Bro, you didn't you didn't hit it on the head with a couple of things, right? You know what I mean? That I love. I love. But let's get into this right here. Now you didn't you didn't been in the hip hop world, you've been TV, right? You multi-platinum, sell award winning. Like you got awards. But now you get into the season game. You didn't gonna say now you get into the food game. Tell me. What was in your mind or what creative space was you in when you decided to say, hey, you know what? I need to come out with a season. And why did you come out with a season? Well, you know, the seasoning was really to support my show, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my show is a cooking show, mm -hmm. right? It's called The Hip Hop Cookhouse with MC Nice, mm -hmm. right? So me in the kitchen with a DJ. I'm like every good Steam music, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I'm in the kitchen with a DJ, and um, and I was just like, "What better seasoning to use than my own?" Mm. Yeah. So I teamed up with Valido's Foods, with my man OB and VZ, and we came out. You know, we came out with a, a, a seasoning called Nice Blend: rosemary, garlic, onion, and cumin. That's like the the foundation of any meal that you're gonna prepare. You're gonna pull out the rosemary, the garlic, and the onion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to make sure that I had like an all-purpose type season. But uh, when we threw in the henna cumin, that's when it took it to another level. And it's no salt. You know what, what? I'm saying? So that, that's the that's the beauty of it is no salt. What? Black folks got high blood pressure. Mm. So mm. I didn't want that to be the excuse for not getting my season. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, 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 what you're saying, uh, saying is move over, Mrs. Dash. You know what I mean? MC Nice is here for the show. Nah, I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's room for everybody. Right, yeah. right. I, I just want my little Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your cooking show. You know what I mean? You know, what was the inspiration behind the cooking show, man? What'd you say? What was the inspiration behind the cooking show? Because, I mean, you know... We see barely, you know what I mean, like hip hop artists and, and, and DJs do cooking shows. Like, unless they a chef got a DJ in the back, but now you got your own cooking show. What was the what was the creative space like? Why a cooking show? Well, because I love to cook. Mm. See, that's what my, peer, my peers don't know is that outside of being an author and, and an executive producer and producer and writer and all that, my one of my loves is cooking. Mm. Like, and I don't I warm up any pots or plates. <laughs> like I I'm boiling water, you know what I'm saying? And right, right. I'm talking about cook, cook. So cook, you know, cook. my show, yeah, the, my show, the hip hop cookhouse with nice, um, is really me giving you complex dishes simply, simplistically. So for mm -hmm. instance, like one of my episodes, my first episode is my Cali brioche French toast, where I make for you brioche French toast with my golden double fried potatoes. You know what I mean? Mm. And my chicken sausage. So it's turkey chicken sausage. And along with a drink I created called the Aurora, which is pineapples, apples, lemons, ginger, 
uh, uh, cayenne and garlic. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, not garlic, uh, ginger mm-hmm. with, a, with a hint of brown sugar. Mm. So I'm like, you know, I'm giving you like some simplistic situations that's going to save your life. Man, listen, bro. Hey, ho- hold up, hold hold up. When are we going to be able to see some of these episodes, man? Because the episode's out right now. No, nah, they're coming. So I'm looking for, I'm looking at the uh, at the fall season. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got some things happening. We're going to announce a little shortly. But uh-huh. yeah, probably around the fall season, everybody going to be in the kitchen with me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, 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 any special guests that we could be, you know, expecting, you know what I mean? That'd be epic to people like, yo, whoa, wait a minute, how you get to? Yeah, because we I know some, you got something up your sleeve. We got, we got some conversations happening, you know what I'm saying? Once they sign on the dotted line, then I, you know, I, I'll make, I, I'll give them the shine. But at this <laughs> moment, you know, we, we, we got some things working out. Well, yo, man, man, dude, you are doing a lot, man, and, 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 and you actually doing it by one person. God is, uh, you know, the spirit is telling you, hey, man, this is this is what I want you to do. And you're doing it. And you could tell, you could definitely tell, man, that big things are here, bro. Big things. Like, you're still here at the 20 plus years, bro. You're still doing it. Consistently. Yeah. Consistently. The, consistent and, um, and, and, and not putting no age on it. Yes. You know yes. 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 You know what I'm saying? So, and and that's the beauty. But the the bottom line is, uh, it's about opening the doors for the next generation and the generation to come. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But doing it in a way that is not just oh they see a dude doing sports or they see a dude doing rap. You know what I mean? It's like what other ways can you know can can we uh, grow? Which is why you see me in animation. Which mm-hmm. is why you see you know uh, in, in television. Because at the end of the day, it's it's more to it than just rapping and playing sports that's a fact that's a fact now i gotta say this to you because uh you know one of my one of my djs one of my djs right uh you actually had him on your show live on youtube right uh it was a uh, dj worldwide if i'm not mistaken okay right and it was the uh, iron dub act one you had my man oh, yeah. dj wiz on that's my guy Wiz That's my up. DJ. <laughs> yeah, man. That's my DJ right there, man. And uh, and when I told him that you was coming on, he was like, oh, no, nah, man. Listen, man. I got to give him a shout out. I definitely got to give him a shout out, bro. So listen, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Because, you know, he doing some real big things in the Christian hip hop world, man. And I'm glad that you got that platform, too. To, to, oh, yeah. to people to recognize these DJs, man. That's killing the game, bro. Yeah, you know, it all starts with the DJ, though. It's yep. been started with the DJ. Rap started with the DJ. You know what I'm saying? So that's a <laughs> rap began with the DJ. It just, it was an afterthought with the DJs, though. It was like the DJs was the center of the attraction, you know, center of attraction, and the rap guy was just the guy that was the hype guy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It reversed roles and then now it reversed back where the DJs yes. are the attraction. You know what I'm saying? And that's only because the rap guys can't get it together. They don't know if they want to fight right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man, listen. You ain't lying about that, bro. You ain't lying about that. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you so much for joining me here on the show, man. Giving our people a little bit of knowledge of what you're doing, man, and how you're doing things, man. And uh Definitely, man. You got to come back on when that cooking show come back on, man. You gotta, you gotta come back on. Come holler at your come, boy, man. Come back on and send you some plates so you can get, talk get, about it. When you're talking to. You. Hey, hey, listen. We could do that. We could definitely <laughs> do that, man. You best believe that, man. We could definitely do that. Well, yo, before you go, man. Once again, man, it's an honor and a pleasure, dude. Man, listen. I love your spirit and I love your energy, man. Because it's when you do interviews, when you can pick up on people's spirits and energy. You already know how the interview is going to go. Oh, and I already God. knew how it was going to go, man. So I definitely appreciate you. But before you leave, you got to give A by your social media platform and where they can find you at. And are you going to be doing like any any tours or anything that you're going to be involved in this summertime? Because it's, it's here. Yeah, well, you know, pretty much I'm working. I'm filming. I've been, you know, like I said, you caught me coming from filming. I was like, I cannot right. miss this. 
You know what I mean? Um, so, well, first off, my social media is MC Nice LA. That's E M C E E N I C E L A on Twitter and Instagram. MC Nice Music on Facebook, or go to mcnice.com or MC Nice TV on uh, YouTube if you want to check out some of the, some dope lyric videos uh, that I have. You know what I mean? And in mm-hmm. regards to tours or whatever, like I said, I'm filming. Um, and that's been the, the bulk of it. And I'm trying to finish up um, Iron Dove Act Two, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Which is uh, my hip hop album. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, yes, sir. Act One is like it's called the Blessed Coast, right? Mm-hmm. Because I'm on the West Coast, so I call the West Coast the Blessed Coast, right? So mm-hmm. I gave you some some Blessed Coast tendencies on mm-hmm. that on that album. So if you haven't listened to Iron Dove Act One, go get that. The Blessed Coast. Act two is coming. It's called 1919, and it's based on the book of Revelations, 1919, the war. So it's mm-hmm. like, yo, so I'm coming with more, uh, with more aggressive bars, you know. On, on the- I, got, I gotta let the youngins know that I can still rap. You know? <laughs> That's a fact. That's a it's fact. A they of, swear. <laughs> it's a whole lot of singing going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. You know I mean? So. We're just going to take it back to the essence of rap, you know what I mean? And then uh, go from there. Oh, man. Listen, man. Definitely appreciate you. Let me go ahead and give you your flowers now, man, because we got to give our people their flowers while they're here. So I am giving you your flowers while you're here, bro. Yeah, yeah. I am giving you your flowers while you're here right now, bro. So I appreciate you. I'm giving you your flowers, yo, because we need people like you to do big things for us. So, yo, we appreciate you, man, so much, man. I definitely appreciate you. And I just got to say this before we leave right here. Right? You know, got the seasoning, right? Got the plats. You got all that. One thing that I can't say to you, and I am going to say it to you, is the humbleness is serious. To be humble is something serious. So thank you for being humble because a lot of these dudes ain't humble out here. So I thank you for all these years. You're humble. And I appreciate that, man. So thank you for joining me here on the show. That's big, man. I appreciate that. You know, at the end, like I said, you know, I put in the work and if you're in the same business, I'm in, we just colleagues. And at the end of the day, um, I'm no, I'm no better than you. It's just, I, I just put in, you know, different type of work. You know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, anybody can put in that work and get to that. So, But I don't think I'm greater than no other person. I I just know that I work hard. Yep. Well, yo, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh, how was the BET experience? Because I know it was wilding for a second, but how was it for you? Uh, For me, man, it's just anytime I can go represent the kingdom. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm a bunch of of different, you know, I'm a bunch of uh, uh, monks a bunch of people. So at the end mm-hmm. of the day, anytime I can go there and represent the Lord is still, you know, and still walk around, you know, people look, they look and go, okay, we know this dude from somewhere doing something, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but, you know, it, it, it's just, it, it, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to me that I can still walk in these places and, and still be relevant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, look, man, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for uh, joining me here on the show. Thank you for taking time out, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. You know what I mean? God is good all the time and all the time you stay good. You know what I mean? So look, do your thing, man. I'll be watching. Come holler at me, but we can go ahead and do this thing live. I had a plate that we can have conversation. I'll be because back. I'm... All right. Sound good to me, bro. Sound good to me. Salute to you, man. And uh, once again, man, you have my man MC Nice here joining us here on the show. Appreciate you, yeah, bro. No worries. I'll be back. All right. All right. Most definitely, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate Salute you. and drive safe. All right. Oh, man, y'all. Good show. Good show. Good show. Woo. When I tell you epic show, epic show, this is what we do here on the OT Radio Show. And I want to tell y'all, we actually going to pick that recording on our podcast. So that recording will be on our podcast. So if you don't want to watch it, you know what I mean? With your boy OT, y'all be like, ah, oh, no, we want to hear it. It's going to be on our podcast on the OT Radio Network. So you can go ahead and tune in on that one too. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Man, 
I know a lot of y'all folks out there be watching shows like P Valley, Sisters, some of the Tyler Perry shows. Well, I'm actually bringing on a stylist who styles all of the hair. She's a hairstylist. So I'm going to have her on on Wednesday. We're going to be talking. We're going to be chopping it up. Because, see, y'all look at people and y'all see them on, you know, TV shows and stuff like that. But y'all don't know who doing the makeup. Y'all don't know who doing the hair. Well, I'm going to bring a young lady on who's actually doing the hair for some of them hit shows that y'all like watching. Because I know a lot of y'all folks be watching that, you know what I mean, that P-Valley. I know that for sure. But, hey, I appreciate y'all. Tune in Wednesday at 515 with your boy OT here, live here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. We here. OT Radio Show. We here. I love y'all. Y'all be good. And yo, shout out to everybody. We love you. And like I always say, if someone asks you how you doing, you tell them I'm doing better than yesterday. Love y'all. Y'all be good. And thank y'all for watching again here on the OT Radio Show. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms. Everything that says the OT Radio Show, you'll see us. We here. So make sure you go ahead and follow us. Thank you for watching again. Much love to y'all. Peace.